The instrument I researched is the glockenspiel. It is very uncommon. It is known as a percussion instrument and comes in a variety of different colors, shapes, and sizes. It is very similar to the xylophone. The history of the glockenspiel. The glockenspiel began as a set of individual bells that were replaced by steel bars near the end of the 17th century. In the beginning, the glockenspiel was only considered a substitute for real bells, but gradually the glockenspiel became an instrument in its own right. The percussion instruments are an international family with ancestors from Middle East, Asia, Africa, the Americas, and Europe, representing musical styles from many different cultures. The name the glockenspiel means bell play. The glockenspiel was officially invented in the 17th century in Germany by Robert Furentier. How does the glockenspiel produce sound waves? The glockenspiel is played like the xylophone. The glockenspiel is typically played with wooden or plastic mallets, producing a high tuned sound that is bright and penetrating. When the player strikes a bar with a soft mallet, a more mute sound is produced. Therefore, sound waves are created when the wooden or plastic mallet is struck on the steel bars, creating a vibration that eventually produces sound. The glockenspiel is typically used in marching bands or orchestras. This is an example of the glockenspiel being played. More classical types of music can also be played by the glockenspiel. Even modern pop can also be played on the glockenspiel, such as Lady Gaga's telephone. Though the glockenspiel seems to have a deceivingly queer name, it is very similar to the xylophone. The instrument was discovered by Robert Furentier in the 17th century. It is played in orchestras, marching bands, or even percussion ensembles. When striking the mallet on the steel bars, it can produce a high tuned sound that is bright and penetrating. In tapping the steel bars with a softer mallet, it produces a more mute sound wave. The glockenspiel can be used to play classical, pop, or even modern day music. Though it was discovered long ago in the 17th century and used only as a substitute version of bells, it is still used today. <laughs>